Hey guys, Pete here. I wasn't planning on making another Westworld video before the finale, but I was reading all the stuff this morning, and I saw this quote from Jimmy Simpson and the new little teaser clip that they put out on the Jimmy Fallon show, so I thought I'd go ahead and make one more. Plan is I'm going to go over all the theories that are currently out there, or at least the best ones, I think, and talk about what the ending of the show might look like this season. It will contain spoilers for everything that's happened up through episode 9, and it'll also involve major speculation about what might happen in episode 10. With that out of the way, let's jump right into it. So J.J. Abrams was on Jimmy Fallon, and he brought a clip with him of the season finale. It's a 40-second clip, and it has Charlotte visiting Dr. Ford in his office, telling him that he's about to retire. She explains that after he announces his new narrative, that he'll also announce his retirement, which is a lot of foreshadowing to me because he makes mention that, aren't you afraid I'm going to smash all my toys and go home? And then she goes into the idea that no, because she knows him, and that's one of the great things of the job, but we've seen enough to know not to underestimate Dr. Ford at this point. So the other thing I read was this quote from Jimmy Simpson, and this is what prompted me to make the video. So when asked if an annoying cliffhanger might be in the works, this was his answer. Let's see, well I would say I was definitely on the edge of my seat all the way until I got the 10 script. I think we all had different ideas, and then when 10 came, I think I could speak for most of the cast. The general feeling was like, holy effing shit. <laughs> Because basically what they've done is they've somehow tied up everything you wanted to know and then pointed out this whole world of other stuff that you hadn't really thought of that now you really, really want to know too. It's not some bullshit cliffhanger where you're like, oh, what now? It's like, oh my God, thank you, and I can't wait for more. So I think we can all agree that that sounds pretty exciting. Now let's look at all of the things we want to know answers to and what I think are the best theories about their outcome. Usually I just try to present the different theories and possibilities, but at this point we're at go time, so I'm just going to lay it out there what I think is the most likely ending. So we can't have this conversation if we aren't all in agreement about the three time frames that exist in the series. We have an anchor character who shows us what they are, and that's Angela. She exists in all three time frames, and her character is different in each one. She carries a parasol in the oldest time frame. This is 35 years ago, roughly, and it's the period of time before the park actually opened and welcomed in guests. The next period of time is when William and Logan were there. If you're getting really confused or if things are throwing you off, just think about it like this. All of what we see there happened 30 years ago. The big scene that made this confusing and made a lot of people doubt the multiple time frames was when Dolores walks off into the woods and sees William. In reality, he's not actually in the woods. She wanders off glitching out and she starts to have memories that overlap. So she's remembering something that happened 30 years ago rather than those two th events being something that happened back to back. We see this with Maeve all the time. She even tells Felix that she can't tell what's now and what's then, and that is all the real evidence we need on that. Now, where the man in black is in the park, and what we see with Ford and Charlotte and everything else going on, that's in present time. So roughly 30 years ago, Angela was a greeter. We saw her welcome William to the park, and in the present time, she's working with Wyatt. So the fact that William and the man in black are in the park at different times is indisputable at this point. The next thing we're going to find out in the finale is that he is actually the man in black. This has been a popular theory since episode one or two, and there's really no other logical conclusion. I know some people hold on to the idea that it might be Logan, but that just doesn't hold up if you really look at it. So that's going to be the first reveal is that man in black and William are the same person. In the same way that they started showing the logos at different times to sort of push the idea that there were multiple time frames. They really accelerated showing this knife over and over again in the last episode to show us that that knife has been wielded by William and wielded by the man in black. I think we're also going to find out how things play out between Ford and the board. I think he's anticipated their movements on trying to get rid of him, and this entire narrative thing is going to be him playing his ace. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to play out and what role Maeve plays in it, but I do feel pretty confident that Dolores will turn out to be Wyatt in the narrative. 
Why do I think that? Well, for one, it's a popular theory that a lot of people have broken down and, and it makes a lot of sense. If you look at the photographs of the scene where Dolores is standing, she's sort of in the same place that Wyatt was in Teddy's old remembering of it. So it feels like when we see Ford in the trailer with Teddy and Dolores, that is a pretty good indication that his thing is centered around those two characters and is based in the truth that happened at that time. We know Arnold was killed, according to, to Dolores' memory, but we don't actually know what Dolores' cornerstone is. As much as the cornerstone has been emphasized all this time, especially when it comes down to Maeve overwriting her own and how they've been revealing that, we have no idea what the current day Dolores has as a cornerstone. The Man in Black came to the park with a test. He says it was to see if he could feel anything once he killed Maeve and her daughter, but what he ended up finding out was is that he saw Maeve appear to be alive. Really alive, like almost in comparison to himself, you know, where he doesn't feel like he feels anything. So on his next trip back, he immediately goes to the Abernathy Ranch, and that's where we see him drag Dolores into the barn. Now, when we first saw that scene, we didn't know him or anything else about him, so we assumed that he was just a psycho, and that he probably took her in there and violently raped her. As the season's gone on, that seems less likely because we've seen him act in a gaming kind of relation with every decision he's made before. So I think there's a pretty good chance that he was trying to wake her up and make her feel alive like he saw happen with Maeve. Whatever actually happened, we don't know, and we may get that as a reveal. But even if we don't, we know that shortly after that happened, she was taken into the barn again by the host, and that's where she went off her loop, wandering into the woods. So at that point, she lost touch with reality and started to relive this time that she remembered that is triggered by the reveries being introduced to 30 years ago when she went on the similar journey to the maze with William. Like in the last video, I mentioned that I, I do think we'll see what's going to happen with Maeve. I don't think there's going to be a cliffhanger there, but I'm really not certain how that's going to play out. The same goes for Elsie and, and Stubbs. I think we'll find out what's happened to them, what, what's going on with them, but at the same time, I don't think there's strong evidence to do anything except speculate, you know, as to where they're at or why it's going on. Ultimately, I think Ford's either behind it all or he's not, so we'll likely find out what's going on with it in the finale. I also think we'll learn more about Arnold's death, and if we think about Teddy's story when he told the man in black about Wyatt, he says that he killed the general and then he turned on Teddy. So could this be the idea that Dolores kills Arnold, and then we keep seeing this thing of her shooting herself in the head, that could be her way to silence the pain. I think that'll be the most satisfying part of the finale. You know, we, we know we have 90 minutes here, so it'll be good to get a real explanation of what happened back then. I hope that we get a clear understanding of what Arnold was up to and how his experiment with the maze and Dolores and this death wish that he had or seemingly had and how that's affected Ford over all these years. That may be wishful thinking, but hey, Jimmy Simpson said we're going to find out everything. And what do you guys think? I mean, what do you think about this idea that there's something else going on that we didn't know we wanted to know about? Is he talking about the casual viewer or is he talking about people like us that have been tearing this thing apart for the last couple months? I don't know. There's a lot more we could get into, but let's do that in the comments. I'm really excited about the finale. I hope you guys are too. I'll be putting out my recap and theory talk as soon as it's over. So hit up the comments and let's talk about it till then. Please like the video if you had fun watching it and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.